My name is Ksenia. I'm PR manager at SE Ranking and uh, Tatiana's colleague. We are um, broken hearted uh, and I will try not to cry because it's been such a horrible story. Yeah, actually, uh, in our company, everyone is broken hearted. Uh, we are angry. Um, we still are trying to cope with this uh, and we don't know how to better honor her memory. Uh, but we uh, feel obliged that the world uh, knows about the situation and starts doing something significant to change. Uh, was happening in Ukraine because you know firing on innocent civilians it's uh, a war crime they did nothing wrong they were just walking to the bus and then they were fired dead and that's how they died and I think we could all relate she you know she and her husband and their two children had a minivan um, the minivan my understanding had to be left maybe possibly it ran out of gas so that she was there with her children her parents were behind her her mother has Alzheimer's and she had stayed behind to try and make sure that they all could get out as as a they and millions of other people are fleeing how did you first find out that Tatiana died yeah, so actually our HR manager uh, was in contact with her as well as other employees in our company checking up on them. And um, like uh, the day before, um, their building, the, the building where they lived was shelled and uh, one of the missiles, it uh, went to the apartment above them. So they actually uh, didn't uh, have a place to stay anymore so they spent the rest of uh, their day and night in the basement hiding uh, from the shelling and uh, the next day uh, they were supposed to um, leave the town through this um, safe passage as they call it or a green corridor and we knew about it and then I saw on a um, and the news that uh, this green corridor in Irpin, the city they were living in, uh, was fired at. And uh, at that time, I texted our HR manager asking about if she knows about Tatiana, did he make out? And she started calling Tatiana, she couldn't reach her. And later that day, she told us that uh, her kids died right there and Tatiana was taken to the hospital in Kiev she was still alive uh, but uh, in the evening uh, she told us that Tatiana also died in the hospital and at first uh, no one could believe it uh, it was a complete shock for all of us like my hands were trembling I just couldn't you know put my mind and my thoughts together because uh, it's impossible we just went um, several days before the war to a corporate party in the nation of Georgia like we were skiing paragliding together with Tatiana and having great time and just uh, in a few weeks now we have to discover that she was brutally murdered on the street she was an innocent uh, person who was just trying to save herself and her kids and, and give them a better future. It was not the first time for her, um, like, running. She had to leave Donetsk in 2014 when pro-Russian forces occupied uh, this city, uh, as you know. And uh, even at that time, she didn't lose her optimism. She continued her life in Kiev, then they bought uh, an apartment uh, in Irpin, it's a kind of a small city around Kiev with, you know, green forests, lakes, and rivers, you know, fresh air. And they bought an apartment there uh, with her husband, uh, started to their life anew, hoping for the better future for their kids. And like their lives were taken away from them so brutally that it cannot be forgotten, forgiven. Uh, it cannot be explained by any, um, by like by anything. Like it's not a special operation, like Russia calls it. It's a war, and they are hitting civilians every day. Not just Tatiana, but also um, other cities. Uh, a lot of kids 
uh, died. A lot of innocent people died and are continue like and continue dying. And I think that it has to stop as soon as possible. What I fear uh, is that this hatred uh, that is now in the hearts of all Ukrainians will continue to live for generations. And um, like, it's very sad. It's uh, like, it's very, I don't know how to explain, like no words, just, you know, we want this to stop and we want uh, to be free and uh, we want our country to be peaceful. We don't want any of this. Um, can you tell me, my understanding was that her son would watch over the daughter, um, Alyssa, uh, and as they would sleep and he would watch over because of the mortar attacks that were happening. What else did yeah. you hear as far as how they were trying to survive during this horrible war that's unfolding? Yeah, so as I told you, they uh, had to hide in the basement because uh, the apartment above them was uh, hit by shelling and uh, they couldn't stay in the apartment anymore. So as you know, in basements, there are no uh, electricity, food, water and so on. So they had, you know, uh, to stay there without anything just to survive. And even there, uh, even from the basement, she was texting us and she was cheering uh, everyone around her up, telling that they were gonna make it. She was taking, uh, texting her husband as well because uh, like he was uh, in another town at the time visiting his uh, sick mother. Um, and uh, she was texting him as well that they gonna make it, don't worry and so on. She was positive. She was strong till, like, till mm -hmm. till she was murdered. My understanding is that uh, she met her husband on the dance floor. That they had uh, quite a romantic relationship, and and then, as you were mentioning, he had left town to take care of his ailing mom. She had stayed behind to take care of her mother, who had Alzheimer's. I mean, these were very giving people that we could all relate to. Yeah, she was a great person with, uh, you know, very right values. Uh, and uh, her kids were also amazing. Uh, sometimes she took her younger daughter to the office uh, so she could play around while she was working. And uh, yeah, they were amazing people. Tatiana was, as I told you, very positive, always smiling, making jokes. Um, she didn't uh, lose her optimism after she had to flee in 2014. She was not, you know, um, like she was not upset. She always uh, cheered everyone around her up and um, she was truly one of a kind. She was like a big sister to all of us. She helped us a lot, uh, all of my colleagues and me personally, and we will always remember her and miss her very much. Well, we really appreciate you taking time to honor her and her memory and make sure that, you know, we, we uh, understand and we have faces to all of the people that have been impacted and, as you mentioned, murdered in this horrible conflict.